Go ahead, Taint. It, well, it's up to you guys. I think did judge didn't judge say he was driving? Yeah, he. Was he... Yeah. I'm where I need to be. I was trying to find some place with reception. It doesn't seem to be any around my house. But go for it, Brother Tank. Yes, sir. Uh, well, um, what's the question there, uh, Dana? I, I'm sorry, I didn't hear no, what you No, so, I mean, the topic mm -hmm. is mainly 2022 year in review, you know. And um, oh, so, okay. so it's like, so I'm basically going to just have the open floor for more so everyone to talk. Cause usually when me and a judge do the space, we may talk for the first 45 minutes, maybe hour, and then people come up and chime in or ask questions or comment. But I think I just, I wanna have, you know, if anybody wanna come up and say, hey, this is, so I want people to say, this is what stuck out to me the most, whether it's in politics, entertainment, <clears throat> and, um, and just let the conversation like organically go from there. Um, it's a couple of things right, that I, right. I do may want to address as far as the Tory Lanes, but I'm so tired with that shit. Mm -hmm. um, right. <laughs> the um, the Akon, his stupid ass comments. Um, you know, we could kind of touch on that, but I think I. But right. part of it is I do want to allow people to come up and whether they want to ask the judge a question or just talk. But what stuck out with you the right. most, Tankish? Well. Yeah, with me, um, it's actually been a fascinating kind of somewhat interesting year, uh, 2022, uh, politically and even in the in the, the entertainment field. Uh, there's a lot of things that went on that caught my attention about the awareness of people um, who seem to be put in somewhat of a, uh, a bubble, how their awareness have, you know, awakened. And... Um, how some of the uh it's a lot of soul stirring things that took place in 2022 it's a lot of political things and also you know a lot of people who took political stances and may have uh whether they wanted to or not were in the political limelight mm -hmm. uh, you know it, what sticks out the most to be honest is it's, it's really what took place here with uh with the uh Kyrie Irving to me and it seemed like it stirred up so much and i know it's at the latter part of the year but it stirred up a lot of interest some of it in um, a positive way and some of it in a negative way and i looked at it kind of look at it like okay we kind of right back where we started again we have this awareness but we still have this uh somewhat confusion where everyone's going different directions you know everyone wants to be heard and everyone wants their opinion to be truth um i think that's one of the biggest things that stuck out to me mm -hmm. is the awareness the, the the awareness the world world awareness even what took place um takes place politically is happening in um uh in politics we we we, we see the time look look at what's happened with twitter you know we see those things that taking place and all these things kind of tie in together as far as i'm concerned it's an awakening at the at, in one area, and it's a, a a level of confusion at another, and it kind of looked like it puts us back in the same place. And this is why I believe in freedom of speech. I really do. And when you're able to uh, express yourself, and this is going to be more on the Twitter side of things, express yourself uh, in a way that that can be not 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 controlled but guided mm -hmm. without it being you know uh too offensive or too directive but you still have the i believe in freedom of speech that's part of what i fought for so i can't i don't feel i never feel right telling people what they can and cannot say because i don't want to be told what i can and cannot say and but but i do have to have some cooth about it so to speak i mean i can't just say uh it's not it's not in me to, just to say anything to be de to be derogatory or to be inflammatory but i want my words to have substance to it you know and i think we all want our words to have substance to it and our words create our direction and our path so what i said earlier about one of the things is a lot of awareness that went on politically and even in the entertainment field we we are identified some people who for who they really are or we we may have thought some people uh had more substance about them and they just you know 
they showed us that, that they really didn't. Like who? And that's a, that's a heavy. Like I'm who? Sorry. Well, I'm just saying. What? Well, I was I, I would say Kanye West for one. I would say that. I, 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 so you were and were not, you not disappointed with in him and Kanye West? I was di I'm disappointed in his uh in his inconsistent behavior more than anything. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to follow. What I mean by that is that he's a in very influential man. I'm not taking any anything away from the brother at all. But when your your character is that erratic, it's hard to get people to really follow you and to trust your leadership. You know, it's called I mean is is he a millionaire? Yes, he's made a lot of money. Um, is he brilliant? Possibly in, in 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 music, he he could be considered brilliant. I don't really follow that too much, but I would say this: the behaviors that are erratic and the the, the behaviors that are strange and all those th they only they only allude more to confusion, mm -hmm. you know, as opposed to soundness. It's not that you can't make a mistake or something, but when you're when you're when you're when you're a millionaire, when you're in the entertainment field, and your life is being publicly followed, mm -hmm. and, and you and, and you kind of uh, you kind of narrate some of it. I believe some of it is narrated by him to get attention. Possibly, I don't know, but collectively, it's erratic. Mm -hmm. And I have like my 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 younger sons that follow it, that kind of stuff. That's their opinion as well about it. Right. I don't follow him enough to 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 say you oh, know he's this or that. I only see him in the in the um the headlines or so, in the uh tablets. So Kanye West, that yeah. that was really stuck out to you the most. Um what are, what do you what are your and I don't like to say New Year's resolution. I really don't. I think that's like so cliche yeah. and it, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't really hold weight. Um because it's been proven that, you know, by the end of January, people are already doing the opposite of their New Year's resolution. Uh, but I think people should just start where they're at, you know, no matter what time of the year. But going forward in the 20... I think that's a good point, Tank. Good point. What? Well, thank you. Well, well, you know, in, in, in I'm more sorry, was it, how you just going to come in and cut me off to go back to his comment when I was talking? <laughs> Like that, that was a but long look, look. delay, Judge, when you came in to like chime in on his comment. Because I wanted... Judge said he was trying to get some reception. Right, but I wanted to ask you, Tane, going into... 20... I've got four bars showing. I can't hear much right now. Going into right. 2023, right, what are you What are you looking forward to, Um, you know, what do... Dana, are you there? Yeah, you can't hear me? You can hear me, Tane, Dana. right? Yeah, I can yeah, hear you. I don't, I can hear you fine. Listen, yeah, I'm just saying, is Dana there? I am here. Yeah, she said she's there. Yeah, I can hear. I can hear, her, Judge. I'm, I'm not sure if you can, but I, can I hear. can't hear. I don't her. know why you can't hear me. And I, that's and honestly, oh. going into next year, you're gonna have to work on that reception. You're gonna have to work on your connection, <laughs> all that, because this 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 can't continue like this. Tank, I can hear you. All right, how about tell her right. to drop down? Yeah, yeah, because she's talking. She's talking to tell you him too. to drop off. Well, I can't tell hear him a to thing drop from her. And yeah. come back up because I can't hear. I can't I have you. him coming in and out. Hey, Judge, she she wants you to to, to log off and log back in. Will do. Yes, sir. All yeah, right. I don't. I don't know what. I don't know what was that about. And it's yeah. annoying. But Dana, what you, out of me what right you was asking? Yeah, what you was asking me about? Uh, what 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 I expect in in twenty twenty three? What I'm hope. What what are some of the expectations? that i have or desire is yeah like I mean? well going forward well, what are your ex what are your expectations for black america that is a good question black america yeah that's that's yeah that's what I'm i saying. should have yeah. changed the topic well, to that yeah yeah i think that uh, that this is an important year this was an important year with all of what i'm what i'm calling is, is clarity and confusion kind of kind of um mixed together but for 2023 I'm, I'm i'm hoping because i think some um realities have been realized right I believe that some realities have been realized. I'm looking for Black America, for us to be more united as opposed to be being divisive, with with the wake with these awakenings that we have in our lives, with these uh, new understandings and these uh, 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 this new uh, way of thinking in a lot of in, in a lot of ways on how to independently uh, exist. 
So my, my hope is that we can collectively, you know, we can, we can benefit from what we learned in 2022. We, we learned some hard truths. Uh, we, some of, I think we put our, a lot of us put our confidence in some things that, that didn't stand. And then some things did stand. Um, so I'm, for 2023 as black Americans, one of the things I'm, I, I, I'm big on the reparations, the reparations act. I, I would like to see more velocity behind that. I would, I would like to see, uh, uh, us collectively be able to do something. It doesn't, it doesn't mean you don't have to have millions to do mm-hmm. it. whatever it is. The, the, the biggest uh, disparity I've, I've always had is how we don't pool our resources together. We tend not to, and I know that's an old saying, a lot of people, it's been, it's been thought of and said a long time ago, but it's been proven to be effective. There's communities, black communities that, that existed, but simply by pooling their resources together. Right. And in doing something positive, whatever it may be, it doesn't have to start off as being the greatest or biggest or hugest thing, but something that's impactive, something that is um, indelible, that will be left as, as and, and seen as being indelible in American society that was done by Black people, mm-hmm. by the hands of Black people. Now, we saw Black Lives Matter. We still see Black Lives Matter, but we see the controversy that surrounded it and some of the things. I. I believe in the statement itself. Black lives do matter. It's a statement. I don't. I don't. I don't call it a slogan. I don't call it a. You know, a fad. It's a strong statement. Now, the energy that you put behind it, really, I'm hoping to see, not only that statement, but the the core understanding of what it means. Right. The meaning. You know. The core yeah. It's like in- I think going in 2023, it has to be about action and, and action with right. meaning behind you have to mean it it's, it's all about action and meaning what you say meaning what you do like back that shit up with action if you want this and you think black people are, are not being treated well blah 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 then it's time for I, I believe black america to get up and start displaying action and mean and meaning it who is buffy Yes. Hi, everybody. Thank Hi. you. Hello. hello, hello, hello. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Um, this is my two cent on this. How I feel about Black America. I feel too often we categorize each other, and it's our biggest downfall. You know, it's like I don't care what arena we're in, whether it's politics, activism, or whatever, we want to put everybody in a category. Okay, we got our people over here with degrees over here. We got our people over here um, that's from the streets, but they're smart. And if we could just stop doing that, like, stop doing that. Like, prime example I can think of that's current is the situation with Deion Sanders, okay? Deion Sanders left Jackson State to go to another school. You, you know, it's split down the middle. Some people say sell, sold out. Some people say did. Why not hold the people up top at Jackson State accountable? Why be so quick to just tear down somebody who come from nothing? You have to realize a lot of these those people come from money. You know, they have degrees, they look down on the, the regular, schmegular person, somebody like a Dion, whose parents had nothing, who worked hard, who uh, had no name recognition, earned everything he has. But what I'm saying, if we could just stop categorizing each other and recognize we all black, we all black at the end of the day, and let's try to pull each other up. I see it so often, even with our frontliners, the people that's on the front line fighting so hard for us, you can kind of see them branching off like, what? Like, we all fighting for the same thing. You got your Tiffany Crosses and your, um, that don't like your Tariqs, and you got your uh, Roland Martins that don't like your Tariqs. Like, really, like, we're all 
fighting for the same thing. Why can't we get on? And too often, yeah, white supremacy ain't going nowhere. But we focus so much on what the motherfucking white man is doing against us that we don't fix our issues. We got we to fix what's going on with us. That's going to be there. That ain't going nowhere. But maybe if we put a, a lot of that energy into us and fixing us, it, that won't even phase us. It ain't going nowhere. I'm not saying that it won't, you know, you're going to deal with racist cops. You're going to deal with, you know, I tell my kids all the time, every day that you don't come face to face with evil, you blessed because it's evil out there and it's never going nowhere. But I just wish that we could raise each other up, recognize that we all black at the end of the day. Stop categorizing each other. That's, that's all I'm That's my two cents on it. No, and I totally agree with you. Let me test ju judge. Can you hear me now? Judge, unmute if you can hear me. Tink, say something because I don't know. Yeah, if let me can... see if you can, can. You hear me, Judge? Can you hear Judge? I hear both of you. I just couldn't get it off mute. Okay, okay. Thank All you. right. I just I sent you an invite as a co-host. Okay. okay. All right. Done. Okay. Good, because that frees up space. So, um, I mean, listen, we. I've heard everything everybody said. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I put this as an open panel so people could come up and, you know, this is, it's a year in review. So it's a whole bunch of different stuff we could talk about. Mm -hmm. But um, what Buffy, I, I do agree with Buffy, it's time for us to work on us, put that energy into right. us. And I don't, and I, and it, I mean, look, if we all, if people, if you pro reparations or pro anything black, if you don't start working on, if we don't start working on us, we're not going to get anything. We're just going to be a, a group of people around, running around here complaining. Well, let right. me say something that doesn't sound too cool in light of the discussion, but it's reality. From the sixties, I'd say it's impossible to get unity until you weed out the traitors, the scoundrels, the pimps, the hustlers, the hoes, and the snitches and the informants who want to ruin what we're trying to do. And there are many, many, many. And you cannot have effective unity as long as they are ignored. You must identify them. You must expose them. You must ostracize them, isolate them, and neutralize them. Otherwise, they will wind up getting or killing, getting a lot of people killed or actually doing the killing. And I saw that happen. Some of them who are responsible are still receiving national acclaim. So they're not part of the unity, even though their theme may be unity. That is a reality we have to deal with. I saw it last year as a year of missed opportunities and a year of clarification. I'm glad that Musk took over Twitter because on me, the ending of the repression and suppression of First Amendment rights that has been running rampant, as Tank spoke, to, spoke about, got a little club across the back of the head with Musk taking over Twitter. The Twitter files that are coming out right now do not make nice reading, but as I've warned people for years, it's a reality you have to be aware of. Some people seem to be against totalitarian methodologies but only when it applies to somebody who might be using those methods on them, but not on their use of those methods on others. They don't understand free speech. We have suffered undue repression, oppression, and outright censorship to our free speech rights that is absolutely astonishing. It's not good. Now, 
the thing that comes about with the Jackson State coach is was he leaving a good situation or was it a bad situation he tolerated as long as he could? Are we all supposed to stay in black enclaves as some would have us or is the method that is being taught uh, in these enclaves of blending in supposed to be about the reality? Is it blending in or just becoming part of the mainstream? Is that copping out by becoming part of the mainstream, even if you don't forget your origins. And then we can look at Jackie Robinson, Don Barksdale, and Kenny Washington, who broke into Major League Baseball, the NBA, and the NFL, supposing they just stayed in the colored leagues or coaching college. Where would we be now if they hadn't gotten in in 1947? one with the Dodgers, one with the Lakers, and one with the Rams. So there are options to be opened up. And being part of what's happening in the mainstream does not mean and should not mean that you abandon where you came from. That's right. But isolation sounds nice. I hear a lot of stupid talk about integration killed us all well it wasn't integration what we did was desegregation but if you've ever been in a situation where the law required that you be segregated where there were colored only restrooms and water fountains and where you could not be certain places without somebody's permission Mm -hmm. that isn't exactly what we want to return to I hear a whole lot of nonsense talking about we need land so we can farm. Nobody's talked about how you would keep order in the land. Nobody has talked about how you'd protect it. And nobody has uh, mentioned anything about how you're supposed to earn a living dealing with new Stone Age subsistence farming. That doesn't work in the world and the whole world for the last Quite a few thousand years has been about expanding trade amongst the humans who live on this planet. So talk of Mm -hmm. turning the clock back to the last ice age doesn't work either. Meanwhile, Um, we um, need to understand that we have to get into the 21st century. And that means we're going to have to inspire the children and grandchildren to get into STEM, science, technology, engineering, math and those things that revolve around those fields in terms of administration, guidance, leadership, and direction. Politics, too, which is very important. Let me me add this into what you were saying, because um, I'm I binged on Yellowstone. I love Yellowstone. That I would say that's my favorite show this year. Um, So this is the year in review phenomenal show it has please even if this was if this was Yellowstone back when Dallas it would definitely beat over Dallas so it's nowhere near Dallas but um speaking of Yellowstone and you know in that show you know you get to see the Indian um, reservations and their culture and just piggybacking off what you were just saying judge it's like yeah we say we want land we want this and then some people are even saying that we should be granted our own state or sovereignty land, but who's going to run it? And will and have you honestly to ask yourself the question, would you live on land or a state or even a city completely black owned separate from the government? I would not, to be honest with you, because we don't have proper way of knowing how to farm um infrastructure how to build it how to keep it running how to operate it um you know we don't participate in politics like we should so things that we're doing now on american soil because we you know we're americans we things that we should be doing we're not doing here so then mm-hmm. what all of a sudden overnight we're going to do it if we're granted our own state or city or whatever absolutely not Who's going to police it? Then you're going to have a war between the blacks that want to defund the police and then other blacks that want the police, right? 
Yeah. Hey, can I, can I say something there, Dana? Yeah. Yeah. You know, what Judge made the greatest point when he was laying that out is that the weeding out process, before any of that can take place, the weeding out process has to, has to come to fruition. You have so many people who, who, who claim to be this and claim that didn't really don't have anything behind them. I'm not talking about a degree. I'm talking about not only a degree, but I'm talking about true experience of leadership. Just because a person can speak eloquently doesn't make them a leader. Being a leader takes a lot. It takes a lot more than just talking. And, and, and social media has created the greatest talkers that they are, that there is. You know, the time that the judge was talking about is a time we're, we're talking desegregation. And I, I, I feel differently. I feel that desegreg we should have been, we should have remained segregated. That was just, that's just my opinion. But what judge is saying there, I have to agree with because every organization that was uh, black led pretty much it from the civil rights movement on was infiltrated right by people who said or talked the talk and seem as though they were a part of that system they needed to be weeded out and and right now <laughs> the vineyard is is much bigger than it was in the 60s because everybody has well uh, who, okay but who who needs to be weeded out and that's what i'm saying like who's who's going to tell us hey Damon, who's going to who gets to say okay you you're out you're in right right who gets who gets to make that call yeah and, and I, I don't think it's a one it's not a who it's a it, it, it's it's to me and this is how i see it though Dana. to me it's a long it's a long 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 walk it's not a sprint uh, and, you know, you may hear some people come up with some but great what, ideas. What are, but what are the what are the requirements? What are the stipulations? What is the list that you utilize to in order to be able to recognize someone who is basically a traitor to your race? You know, um, right, or uh, trying to infiltrate. Uh, how do you how do you how do you find them? You understand know what I'm saying? How do you... Right, right. And, and 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 that's the that's the complicated task, and and that's why it, it's such a it, it's such well, a I think Huge. the judge, the judge should tell us because he the one who recommended it, saying before we could move forward and get anything, we right. gotta weed out the quote unquote traders. But let me say How this before. All right. Yeah, but let me let me say this before the judge get it because because I want the judge to answer this too because because he's been he's been privy to these things right, and, and and how people can come into an organization and 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 their entire purpose is to 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 kill that thing, not to make it grow. And it's very hard to tell who's who, but now this is where leadership, this is why when we have a, when you have a sound leader, that's what you follow. You don't have to, like if there's, there's a term in the military, lead, follow, or get, get out of the way. And some people that, that don't, they may have a, a grievance with someone that's a leader, but, in, but instead of allowing them to lead because they are designed to lead, they come with these other, they get in the way of the progress. So anybody getting in the way of progress, of sound progress, when there's sound structure that's already set, we're gonna live, we're gonna operate by this structure. It could be something simple. And if you don't operate by that, then you can't be a part of this. And that's, that may sound hard, but there is no other way that I can think of, and I'm gonna give this to the judge, because I know the judge has lived through these things. What would you suggest in the way of, 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 uh, you know, separating the wheat from the chaff, so to speak. Mm -hmm. They actually kind of expose themselves. You look into what they're doing, you have to do the same thing nation states do about having your own intelligence apparatus. And by the way, I'm not talking about integration, which is voluntary action. I'm talking about segregation, which is somebody telling you, you can't come in. That's different than choosing not to come in. There's a big difference. Now, let me say this. First off, this thing about somebody supposed to give us some land somewhere that would be taken away from some people that are already occupying it and handing it over so we could do our thing in separation. We wouldn't have a governmental structure 
unless we chose to do what Liberia did, which is essentially adopt the American model after they settled some former slaves over there in the 1840s. Well, in the process of setting up a governance, there's going to be some power battles, some dominance, hierarchy, combats on a large scale and on small scales. And quite frankly, somebody like me bringing somebody like you, Tank, and others, and we'd put some people on the wall if we could manage and get away with them, do away with them and get the riffraff out of the way so we could move on. And if anybody finds a copy of it, I suggest you look at the Battle of Algiers or Africa audio from the late 60s. They were documentaries and see what that's about. It might self-explanatory. And maybe then something could be set up so you'd have to have order because all humans are or not alike, and a lot of humans tend to not be too tightly constrained by considerations of public peace, dignity, order, prosperity, mannerability, principle, and precept. So you have to enforce things. Who's but as enforce it is it? right now, I don't think we're going to go there because first thing, the black folk today as a collective don't have the nerve to do that. We yeah. have gotten over the last 55 years decayed and degenerated into a group of people that assumes entitlement is normalcy. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you. Let me ask you this. If we were granted, if black people, if the, if the U, United States government granted black people their own separate state, would you live in it? I'd take charge of it, but I'd put people on Who's the going, wall. How do they you, how do you, like how are you going to take charge of something? Who's, how are you going to take charge? It can't you just be don't, you. With demand. that kind of raw leadership where you don't have a structure, you don't ask, you impose. But that's what I'm talking about. Right. Well, that's, you don't well, have, tank, the, inf- you know you don't have the infrastructure to even know how to put together. Oh, I know how to elite. put together the inter- infrastructure. Do you have? The, well. Do you? But do you have the power and the will well, to I'd do take it? The, I'm like, well, see, if you did that, I'd take the power. Oh, go I'd ahead. Oh, I'm sorry, Buffy wanted to say something. I think mm-hmm. that I it would is assemble possible. my crew and we would take the power. You don't ask when there is that, no structure and existence. That is, that is, that is exactly right. See what he's saying there? And a lot of people, it's going to be hard for a lot of people to understand this. But that's called a military. I see. Military, what you're that's called military might. So, meaning that, you know, structure comes through your military. It's even like in the times of the uh, nice tempers. And, Judge, I know you, my frat brother there. You know, is there any help for the widow's son? There but, it is, and, traveling. Yeah. <laughs> I know my, my frat brother there, but the military and even, you know, for, believe it or not, force is what is con- in control, takes control, really. And, it, and we, can, we can see that by how America has been ran and how it has been developed and, and built. Force is a part of creating any kind of society. So I, I just it. want to th- throw that in there. Too. I know Buffy has something. I'm no, sorry, you're Buff. fine. I'm listening. I, I am so enjoying this see. space. I'm so glad I finally joined Mal Twitter. Says- this is the thing. Power grows from the barrel of a gun. That's what Mao Zedong said. And he right. ought to know. Power comes, grows from the barrel of a gun. Right. And, and the sooner we understand that, the sooner we understand that, and, and it's not saying you go out there and do something uncivil, but I'm talking about when it comes to organization and structure, you don't have anything without a military. You don't have anything. And That's you don't, called power. Yes, sir. It's called power. So the, the, the bigger question is, how would that be defended more than how would we do anything else? Well, I want Buffy to um, speak. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I think we're, we're making it more complicated than, than, it, than, it, it, than it is, okay? When you're thinking of could we live in a place where it's all black, if like-minded people got together, yeah, it could be done. Um, 
there there are lots of excellent black minds. You have black farmers out there. You have black farmers fighting the government right now for their due. You have black scientists and you have you I think y'all cutting us a little too short in that area. If there was even if just just a a, a city, you, you have complete whole blocks that's black homeowners ran by black everything, okay? Black everything. I'm saying that I believe that it could be done. Okay. First of all, you got to have the belief. And I agree with what both of you guys were saying. First, it's a mindset. You can't have no fear. If you're going into it with fear, then it's going to fail. And we don't see a lot of those strong um, minds that's built out the gate like that. You don't see a lot of the Nina Simones, the Freds, the Tupacs. You just don't see a lot of that. Why are they important? question why are those two that you just mentioned important? because what first of all do? they had a mindset of no fear no fear i fear that's nothing. not no fear i don't recall either one of them leading a you charge don't re anywhere. you don't re you, you don't remember nina simone saying i don't understand how people i don't care have what fear. she said what did she do what did she do well, see and that's a false this image. is this these is not people, a false image my thing these people i didn't over talk you guys stuff, what i'm but saying but they didn't is, do stuff first of all it starts in the mind First of all, it's a yeah, mindset. Yeah, but that's not spreading the mind, and it hasn't impacted us. And the okay. next thing and then is, you get tank, what is it? What does an officer say or a non-com say? Follow me. Follow, so yeah, in other words, out the way. he it. gets over the top of the trench. He advances on the enemy. He, oh, well, she's in harm's way. So you, don't you tell see me that. this. So do you where, think where did Nina back Simone in Black, leave, So during the Black where Wall she Street days when you had Black doctors. Black, black Wall Street was one of 123 okay, but can, Black but what towns I'm saying, that got burned During those days where there was no internet, no cell towers, none of that back that long ago, 1920, in the 20s, if it could be done then with it the technology that they have now, it, wasn't done it, can, it can definitely be done. First of all, the one, people have to organize know how to it, wait, organize told, quietly. Let me give you some Bragging has always aside. been our downfall. People want to brag. Let me give you people, some reality. Just like what's going on right now. It's a, you know, oh, well, I, I, I'm better than you. My points are better than yours. When I'm we supposed to be having a conversation. Well, what did Nina Simone, if you're not, if you're well, not. Well, the point is, Nina Simone's what did she mindset, do? I can't do that See, for you. You have to do your own research. But when I well, say yeah, a mind, but she a did, no I know fear, Nina Simone, a no I met her. I know Nina mindset, Simone, I, that's I, what Simone, I, mean. I met her. No motherfucking She's a nice fear, lady. Okay? Fear no man. But she didn't wait, lead oh, us. Hold on. Let's let's stop talking on each other. Because okay. yeah. you gave me the floor. I, wait, you gave me yeah, I, no, raised one second, I, I know, and second, you're giving yeah, me I some. Want, I, I think everybody just you're giving me hype, hype, but it doesn't work I that raised way. my I hand with respect. You gave me the floor. No, Buffy, 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 Buffy. I'm going to give Don't you the floor. Ahead. I just wanted to interject and reset. Um, I, what basically what Buffy is saying, Nina, Nina Simone, she did have a no fear attitude. She, she asked, she was an entertainer. But what the judge is saying, because he was like, listen, we did get our own state. The first thing he's going to put together is a, a team, militia team, to make sure that he's in charge. So you have to take action. Yes, you have to have no fear, but you have to be militant about it, right? And actually take action with that. Nina Simone touch people through her music the judge is talking about military action both okay there was a group there was a whole thousands of military men the no fucking around crew they were all military thousands from all over the country from all over the country just recently when Kyrie had his first game there what happened Buffy we went out hello yep I Buffy. Think he... well look Unless yeah. you have somebody like Tank to provide leadership or me to provide leadership, you can have all of the privates you want. If you've trained your privates to take charge, somebody will arise from them. Hell, look at Adolf Hitler, the corporal. Look at Napoleon Bonaparte, the corporal. Uh, Fear. Leadership can come from the bottom so of you the ranks. So you can tell me that it's not possible. Oh, wait, Buffy, Buffy, your phone went in and out. So something happened with your phone. You probably was talking. We couldn't oh, hear you. What I said was the no NFC, no fucking around crew is all 
former military. All so okay. What? You have all the thousands of men. What I'm saying, it's not a so what. It's not a so what. Yeah, a so because what it takes they strong don't have minds to organize that. It takes Who's leadership to do that. Okay? You yeah, can't but say so what when you see thousands of black men to coming together to support another black man. You cannot say Who are they so gonna support? what. And right there, Who are they that, that support? right there, that's our problem. Who are they gonna support? Right there, that is black America's problem. You're yeah, but so who are they what? Gonna You're support? so what? That's the problem. Who's gonna support? Who are they gonna support? Which one? You uh, Buffy, this is this is open right. panel, so I'm not yeah. telling hey, people I, to I, stop. I, I, go, I just get thing. in and talk. This is open I, panel. I, I, else okay. I so you can't up, just you say so what? If you can, well, I if you can say so what the point or something is, like that, then you already don't have the right that. mindset. You already yeah, don't have the correct the mindset. Okay, that's the point. Okay, my point is this: you. The question was, could we have an all black this or an all black that or this that? Well, I all already black state an uh, actual state. Right. I uh, already all black said state. I didn't say the, it wouldn't be possible. I said it's unlikely or implied. You can never that. say it's and unlikely. And the other thing is, is if you set it up, I don't. They think said a unlikely. Lot of we never would have like a, how it. This and that, and, of, and, and we're, we're breaking, breaking. There's a black woman on the Supreme Court. So people said 20 so years what? ago She's that useless. that would never happen. But what I'm She's saying useless. is a mindset. She so doesn't it, even know what she mindset. is. She doesn't know what a woman it's is. A so mindset. what good is that? What good is that? It does, she doesn't be, know it's what a lot of good. Is. Okay. It's well, a lot that's of good. No good. Okay. I'll, I'll, give I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. They were literally trying to end. Um affirmative action to where they did oh, okay but the fact that we have a black woman on the supreme court that fought and gave arguments she didn't that's a fight big for deal. crap and that's she a, didn't that's fight a big for deal. crap she got insinuated in and she was a feminist and she got selected okay that's your opinion she didn't fight i respect for anything. your opinion she didn't file well, any lawsuits what i'm saying to is don't get to bully anything people or end an oppression talk about their, she didn't have any famous cases th where their she nappy made hair precedent. and didn't have a problem with who they choose to love and, and didn't have a problem with everything else they they do in life okay that's racist when they were when, the way, when, when dark skinned women was coming up in the 60s Marshall. and 70s and 80s and 90s it, we didn't have all this self love we didn't have these people were brutalized okay oh, i don't care the back, about them they're not head, part of our thing this, that's that. the enemy but then when that they is turn the enemy somebody that their them interests are love not them, the same as ours problem. you can't have it both so ways. their interests are not the I'm same as ours so you got somebody of our color who is supporting an enemy's interest? Pro black who is wants not to co anti what everything we do? else. I'm as pro black and helpful? militant as they come. You understand? Excuse so me. what I'm telling what is, you is you 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 that you woman's not militant. Every Give me a break. I don't know what a woman is. I'm not a scientist. Okay, come so on. What is, what's your beef what, with her? What's your beef with her? What is what is the Because she's useless. What is your beef with her? I know some black women who are federal district uh, appellate judges okay. who would have been a lot better for that position. This woman's Why? a fraud. Why? Why? Because she's done nothing. What but I know some you, black okay, women so tell me, who are federal me an judges one of her who've cases done a where lot. She ruled this one against, happened. It's where useless. She didn't rule. She's a surrogate. Okay, so tell me. Give me an example. Your, your, your okay, feelings so are so give strong. You so give me an Marshall example. Said it, Okay, Thurgood Marshall said it. I ain't on talking about Thurgood Marshall. I'm talking about her and her. Oh, I'm her talking cases, about Thurgood her backlog. Marshall. Let's get you have what, such what a strong said. opinion on this black no, woman. No, so I want you to give me an example me. of some I'm of her cases. I'm going to give you what her the, the bottom line is. Bossy, I'm going to give you what the bossy, bottom line is. Respond. Are you going to talk over me or are you going to continue to do this? Let him respond. See, you're not offering anything in here except you're giving me the Democratic Party line. We're not here. To deal with the Democratic the record, Party, I am not line. A Democrat. we're talking about the Black Line. All I'm right, not a the National Line. Now, Thurgood Marshall said it on his retirement. He knew they were nominating Clarence Thomas. He said, "I'm not going to say who my replacement, the nomination to be my replacement." But he said in his gravelly voice, "Let me just say this: a black snake will bite you just as quick as a white one." And paraphrasing that. 
a black female snake will bite you just as quick as any other kind. And I, I think know you have an issue more because qualified, you're a woman. You still more haven't said anything that she's More done. dedicated black women who are federal district court judges or on somebody's circuit court of appeal for the federal system, including at least one black woman on the same circuit. But you, you have- Her name you, is Roger E. Clifton, by the way, a courageous black woman who knows what the hell a woman is. What's an example? Now, just because you get a secret surrogate for the rainbow crowd, that's their right to advocate <laughs> that politically, but that doesn't do a damn thing for us. All right. And we've right. got a snake in our midst. And I have talked to people that have dealt with her and they don't like where she's coming from. They've seen her on the bench and in court. It sounds personal to me. It ain't personal. I don't know the woman. But I know some black female federal judges who ought to have been in that position because I've seen them. I've mentored some of them who have done great things for the people. But it's not doing great things for the people that counts. It's if you happen to be a convenient surrogate that you don't think anybody can attack that you put them in. Do you think Clarence Thomas got put in to help out black See, people? That is not no. a fair comparison. It, it is a fair comparison. Like a it's no Clarence difference. Thomas. The only difference is that Clarence Thomas, Thomas is a male. Has nothing to he's do straight with and he supports he the far right. Ever, this ever woman is a, a female black and a, she supports a, the far Clarence left. Thomas. And it to me, I have asked oh, you repeatedly to give me an example of her a being a surrogate, snake. her being a snake. She's a useless you snake. Her. And, and if you get that age and you haven't done anything and instead for of you people, celebrating you'll never a black do it woman because by the time on the you Supreme get in a position, Court, you, you'll be do you're trying to talk her down. To do it. And you're and exactly doing it wrong. I know my people. I will never get anywhere. I know my people. Okay, so and I know black lawyers and black judges. And, and I've seen what they what, can become okay. when they are I'm not conscientious to their people. Okay. I'm can we do a time out? Can we do a time out? Give me an example. I'm not tolerating it. I don't I'm not buy this crap you where you're giving judge, me the Democratic we... National Committee bull on this woman. Don't yes. even go there. You Wait, haven't even thought about I've it. Asked you, you haven't thought about it, lady. To provide go check it out. Snake go check it out. And you go find out who's done what. Let me interject now, real quick. Now, that's what you need to do. I, let me interject because I see Black with his hand up. I want to go to Black. Um, I see another person just requested Mo. Um, well, and let me just say this, Buffy. I hope you do come back because the first thing Buffy said, oh, I love this space. <laughs> but I, this is a good discussion. Nobody's not being disrespectful. But um, I got to push back a little bit, Buffy. I'm because... being a bit intolerant, perhaps. But <laughs> no, I've no, no, seen but too I just many dead that... Black people and folks suffering. This stuff is serious. See, people die behind this, and it's no time to run some penny ante party game. No, but I, we I have to be Buffy, real, right? I understand what Buffy is saying, and of course, I, I know understand what, what you're saying, saying and right. I got it. But, but it's I, not right, right? I, but the last part, Buffy, when you mentioned that you know she should be celebrated because she's the first Black justice, she should not be celebrated because of that. She should be celebrated if she's doing her job right um what young black people need to take from her is not oh my gosh she's black and everything is all good is what she achieved or her place you know she was a lawyer judge or whatever saying that basically when when you see that you should say i want to work just as hard to accomplish you know, to get into a high position in such as Supreme Court to make a difference. Not her, I agree. I not agree celebrate you. her because she's a first black woman. I don't give a goddamn what color and what gender you are if you're not doing your job right. And when she sat up there and said she don't know what a woman is, which means she is, is aligning with LGBTQ <laughs> right. agenda, I question her. So I don't, I don't let the color or the gender um camouflage what you really need to be what we all need to be looking at however to see someone of your liking just like judge joe brown who is a judge before all that hollywood stuff everything he accomplished can you accomplish it coming from the projects yes you can but it's going to take a lot of hard work and dedication and having mentors i celebrate that i don't give a goddamn that you because you're the first 
because what are your morals? What are your principles? You know, who, who are you working for? Who, what agenda are you pushing that's going against your own, which represents me? Yeah. Can I, can I add one thing real fast? Just real fast. I know Black got his hand up, though. Uh, the, the, one thing I, the one thing I wanted to say, and this is what I understand what Judge is saying, if when you work in the same pool of people, when you understand who those people really are, the public really don't know. We only know generally what they what they allow us to see, and that's that's very it's very important to have experience. This is what I said earlier about structure and experience. This is why it's going to take a long time for us to get where we need to be because certain structures have to be presented to us, and we have to adhere to those structures whether we understand it or not. Well, we and, and following sound leadership in the process is what's going to get us there. So. If you know the person, like he, he he's he's saying he knew he knows the person. He can name several different people who may have been better qualified. That's all that is, and 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 that's a that's a serious thing because some people play those political games. They put people in who they want that's going to serve a, a purpose or going to support a certain agenda. I'm not saying she's supporting anything, but these are facts that we've seen it uh, multiple times, so many times that we can't say it doesn't exist. So. Black, yeah. you can have a floor, sir. Black V, is it Black V? Black Volt, try and reload it. Thank you, Dana. Thank you, Judge Joe. Uh, thank you, uh, Tank, for letting me uh, speak for a little bit. I just, uh, just real quick, you know, I thought we were talking about, you know, creating a black nation, and we got on the sidebar about uh, Kat uh, Katanji Brown, the Supreme Court Justice, um, who, just like Clarence Thomas, is a coon. One's a Democratic coon, one's a Republican coon. So, you know, I don't like to be insulted as a, as a man when a woman, grown ass woman, 50 year old woman, says she doesn't know what a woman is. Like, that's insulting my intelligence as an adult, as a black man, as a human being. So, no, right. Kataji Brown is not for black people. She, she, she got a white husband, please. <laughs> just, like, just like Clarence Thomas. I mean, please. Can we stop with this foolishness and stop deifying political figures who have done nothing in action for black folks? But as far as the black nation, which is I thought what we were talking about, um, I got to agree with Judge Joe. I mean, in any time you're, you're, you're setting something up, somebody has to be a leader and power has to be taken if there's a vacuum. There is no, if, if you want to know what, you know, taking power is, that means you saying, well, I, I believe I have the right means and ways to be the leader, and I got my guns and my people with guns to enforce it. If you don't like it, let's go to war. We blow each other's heads off, and whoever's standing is going to be the leader. That's power by that's power by that's political power from a barrel of a gun. I shoot you, I shoot at you, you shoot at me. Whoever's left standing, that's going to be the leader. That's about as stark and naked as it could be. That's what we're going to have to do as black people, because unfortunately, when we came off the plantation. We brought our coons with us and our traitors with us. And unfortunately, there's going to be a civil war with black people. So a lot of black people are going to die if we set up a nation. For me, I'm, I'm definitely willing to uh, uh, take, a ch take that chance to set up something uh, just specifically for black people because the state we're in, it ain't going to get no better. I don't know what y'all thinking, but, you know, being black in a white land is not going to work for now and for the future. Unfortunately, I don't see white people in their history have shown us that, you know, hey, we're willing to, you know, give black people, number one, what we owe from 40 acres in the mural. Number two, do right by them for the next 100 years and forever on afterwards so they can be full blooded Americans. Because if we we're Americans, we wouldn't be going through this hell. Let's try the nation thing. Let's, let's try to build a black nation. We're going to have Love problems. What, what, what nation does not have problems? Tell me that. Every nation has problems. Let me yep. say this. One thing that years and years ago, five decades ago, old white chancellor said to me, he said, let me tell you something. He said, I don't want to insult anybody here. He said, but problem white folk have for black folk, you fight. You can fight. But you fight for us, you don't fight for yourself. You go kill Germans, you kill Japanese, you kill Koreans, even kill a few Vietnamese. 
but you don't kill anybody for yourself. He said, the Native Americans, the Indians, they sure as hell did. That's why they named trains and places after the Indians. So what they name after black folk except Martin Luther King Boulevard and Booker T. Washington High School? Y'all don't fight. Say so we can count on you not fighting. Said in the 60s, you scared the hell out of us when you burned some cities down, but you seem to have forgotten about that. So, so what do you do? See, white people meet each other out behind the bar and they beat the crap out of each other in the early 20s shake hands and become best friends maybe the guy that lost but if you put up a good fight and he's smarter he's the leader and the other one the bigger one that won the fight watches his back he said but we work it out he said i got a japanese toyota up in my driveway and i got a mercedes benz and my brother got shot three times and uh, Eo Jima by the Japanese, and I got shot twice by them damn crowds at the Ardennes. He said, but we respect them because they fight. He said, I was in the 101st Airborne, and when I jumped out of an airplane over Normandy, June 4th, 1944, I was hollering Geronimo. Um, and and wait, 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 wait. What year so was this said, when what I missed? What are you people going to do? He what what year? He said, when it, wait this? a minute, let me put this last four or five words in. He said, when are you people going to fight us? He said, you won't fight. And somebody said, well, Judge, what about the civil rights fight? He said, that ain't a fight when you're on your knees in some redneck beating you across the head until some more rednecks feel guilty about it. Thank you. That's getting your ass whooped. Right. Good right. Now, wait, 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 one second, because let me interject this, because I, I, I get what that man was saying, and I'm curious, what year did he tell you this? What year was it? 1978 or 77. Right, so um, I respectfully, I would have told him to go fuck off somewhere, because the fact is that a lot of black people, which we only been 13% of the populations and nothing in change since the 60s, have been fighting white America for for decades. What kind of fights did we have? No, there were there were a lot of fights. So when yeah, there were let's, very let's few, take, but it wasn't widespread take, enough. Yeah, but it's never going to be enough to conquer all of America, which is dominated, especially during that time, dominated by white people well a lot of them were racist and, uh, and they all controlled the government so to say that black people never fought that's bullshit. that's why a lot of black men were hanged in 1919 yeah, there well, were thousands stop cutting me we... off no 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 stop cutting me off and let me finish there were thousands of men and children and babies murdered throughout the year of 1919 and the federal government didn't even step in to help. But there were black men who always fought back. But the fact is that there were always more white men, whether they agree with the white men who wanted to kill black men or not, they are going to support their white counterpart. So to say that we don't fight, that's just bullshit. Yes, the civil rights, they wanted nonviolence. It was more strategic than it was physical because you have to practice politics. That was politics. That that's was more strategic. Cowardice. It that's doesn't cowardice. matter, but it's the fact is that we still that's got, cowardice. please stop cutting me off because I'm not finished. I didn't cut you off. We did, during the civil rights movement, there were a lot. Thing. During the civil <laughs> rights movement, there were a lot of bills and acts passed. So the fact is that that was more strategic behind closed doors, you know, for showing the public via the nonviolent protest. They also had the boycott and going on, but they also had the fucking lawyers and the politicians, Thurgood Marshall, not Thurgood Marshall, Adam Clayton Powell you know, making sure that, okay, what needs to be done? So it was a lot of factors in play, which is not happening today. Today, if that what same white man were to say that today, he'd be 1000% correct. But to say that in the seventies and, 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 and to put that and place that on going from, let's say 1970 back to fucking 1865, like I said, I would have told him to go fuck himself because that's not true. And why, why wait, 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 I'm not one more thing. And while his white cracker ass was jumping out of that fucking airplane, Come on. You, had the, you had the red tails and you also had whatever black people were in whatever army or whatever, but particularly the air force that was um, protecting the bombers that allowed for them to bomb throughout fucking Germany. So we participated in every goddamn war in this country. Agreed. So 
don't I don't I don't I don't take I don't tolerate that. That's not somebody. the point, Dana. No, that is That's the point. not the point. In the point that is that was the fucking point. It is not, as he said, if you he black folks today, will fight, but you always correct. fighting for us rather than yourself. No, we were fighting for say we a wouldn't country. fight. We were fighting but for you're a always fighting for built. us rather than for yourself. We were fighting for Three thirty seconds that we built. fighting for the Army Air Force. I happen to know they're leading Oh, okay, store, so wait, wait, wait. So then, so then, wait, wait, New Buster, and everybody yes, <clears throat> So you mean to tell me that black people should not have fought in any fucking war? No, we I didn't say that. that we built. I didn't say that. But we Native also Americans black will people. award coup counting points by counting coup. That's how you get to be a chief. You have to count coup. Who did you strike? They'll even count that if you did it in the service of the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine Corps, or whatever it may be. It do, it's your bravery as a person. That's not what I'm talking about. Other than I know what you're talking incidents. about, and I disagree. No, there you're were not black getting it, Dana. I'm not that. talking no, about that. No, I do get it. I'm not talking about that, and I'm not saying there weren't black folk that stood up. It's just not enough. The point is. There Too were many never of enough us of are us. punk ass scared, and we won't do that. Too many of us are Today. punk ass simps and simps, Today. and we try to parasite off the movement. And by the way, I'll tell you something. One time when I was with this DC think tank as an intern, I had to go through 60,000 pages of the congressional record. It had to do with the Civil Rights Act that Johnson introduced in 1964, the Voting Rights Act, the Amended Civil Rights Act. You know what? Those 60,000 pages mentioned about four and a half to five pages of civil rights demonstrations. You know what they were concerned about for the other 60,000? Is black folk burning down the cities of America at a rate that matched what the RAF and the USAAF did the Nazis. Really? Okay, so hold on for a second. Two things with that one. Two things. Number one, they were burning down cities. They didn't fucking own none of them stores anyway. Number two, well, wait, 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 one second. Oklahoma one second, 19, one second. 19, no, 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 no. I said I got two points. I said I got two points. Because of the okay, fact that, that black people didn't burn down the fucking Wall Street and Tulsa. That was white people in the government. I know that. So the second point is, you mean to tell me, the, and that, and that, or those papers, deposition, whatever the fuck it was with the government, they're concerned about black people burning down cities during the civil rights. Then why that wasn't you... during civil rights. That was not civil rights. We had abandoned civil rights by 1965. No, you just, it was said, dead. You just said that they... We're talking, yeah, they, I know. their concern In other was words, not the, the marches, civil rights demonstrations the, didn't count. It was right. people they were burning down the, the cities. People burning down the cities. And I would say, well, where the fuck was this government when white people were burning down black it cities? didn't give a kids? damn. We weren't, exactly. we weren't dangerous damn. enough to make a so difference. Then, so so why, we are weren't, you citing, wait, 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 we, why are you citing something from a government during the time? Excuse me. I'm just trying to tell you that civil rights didn't have much to do with anything. And by the way, Tank, you'll get this one. The Civil Rights Act that everybody calls the Civil Rights Act. It was introduced by Lyndon Baines Johnson after he became president and withdrew a very weak one by John F. Kennedy. It was a military bill. Right. It right. said, whereas this country is involved in a life or death struggle with the forces of totalitarianism and communism throughout the world, whereas the personnel of the armed forces of the United States of America are our front line of defense, right, right. whereas their morale is paramount to our ability to defend them ourselves, whereas the personnel of certain races, et cetera, et cetera, are diminished in their morale by the inappropriate treatment they receive in certain parts of the country, whereas base commanders cannot control what happens in these communities, et cetera, et cetera, be it resolved that this civil rights bill is necessary to ensure the morale of the troops of the militaries of the United States of America, military and naval forces of the United States of America. It's a military bill. It doesn't even say civil rights. Okay. I want to bring in Mo. So what in the devil does our civil rights stuff have to do? You it have a, was you have a strong point. 
He got a strong point there, Dana. No, I'm not saying he doesn't, but the so fact the is that when you is... want to sit up here and quote some fucking no, I'm, 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 look, 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 look. We have the CIA, the NSA, Army, Navy, Air Force, Navy, uh, uh, et cetera, intelligence. Why do we do that? So we can find out what the enemy is thinking so we can guide our plans and prepare our defenses and if necessary our offensive uh program so we can engage the enemy effectively well, that's so all this white man was saying and it was worth well, he should have he should have said that no it is it, not it, something you no, go and clown on him on because he was telling you he was telling you what he thought and it was I don't education. Give a fuck what a goddamn pack of wood thought. Yeah, I don't care. Problem. You need to understand no, 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 what no, 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 the no, no, enemy no. thinks. That's the problem that that's I have. That's why we have James no. Bond no, no, and no, stuff. No, 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 stop. But this, this is to find order, out wait, what the enemy me, is thinking. Let me. You let, need to let, know. No, no, no. Right. I get what you're saying, but you wasn't saying and telling us this is what the enemy. I was telling you, you what you he said, with him, but you and I didn't have him. any disagreement with him because yeah, it but was I true. do, and this is why I do. It was I'm true. And by the way, let me tell no, you it, something it wasn't about true. Wall Street. That wasn't Black true. Wall During that Street. time, it wasn't true. It wasn't true. Let me true. tell you about Black Wall Street. Just one more thing, Tulsa, Oklahoma. We didn't own any property rights. We leased it from Native Americans. That's bullshit. There no, it isn't. No, it's it not. is true. And by the way, there were 122 other black centers of commerce and prosperity that were burnt down between 1918 and 1923. And that's only one of them. And that has become a poster Hold child. Hold on. Wait, 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 happened. wait. Wait a it minute. It isn't even the worst. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Because if you're telling me that the black people that built quote unquote the Tulsa Wall Street that that was all native lands. So then, why did the American government claim that shit then? Because not, they, they had they treaty obligations with the Native no. Americans. It was in Oklahoma. That piece by of the land, way, that by the piece way, of, wait, 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 no, no, that piece of that specific piece of land was not owned by the natives. It was the land next to it. And I'm not saying right a block up the street. It wasn't that stretch of land. So the fact is that you can't, it, it, now going forward to today, I, I don't even think the natives own that land, but they did, they were granted more land around in Tulsa. But back then, the natives, that, that specific stretch of land was not controlled and owned by the natives. Was, and the black people was did leased. not lease it. it no, that they, oh, the black men that leased. went out there owned the land. It was leased. It no, was, it was not. not. Nobody purchased fee simple absolute property rights in right, that listen, area. I wanna, it was I wanna, all I wanna, leased. I wanna go, now, I, let I, me wait, point wait, something no, out. I, Historically, I hold on. You can check it. Oklahoma was one of the last territories to become a state. I think it was 1916. Now, prior to that, it was Indian territory. Isaiah Washington plays a character in a series he's got prepared to come out about Bass Reeves. It's the Black Marshal that they based the Lone Ranger on. They really had several tontos because it was Indian territory in the state of Oklahoma, and he could not go out and make an arrest without. All right, I want to. I want to go to another speaker. I want to go to Mo because no, this will, is not about the Native I'm just Americans. giving it to you, but you I, are doing a disservice to, to the other twenty some odd black enclaves of enterprise and business that got burnt down and destroyed by racist activity in the late 19 teens and the early 1920s. Let's not racist forget them. A lot of them made some severe racist sacrifices. Racist activities put on by talk. white people. Oh, hey, don't let somebody else talk minute, because you stop. don't want to get somebody that knows about it telling you something. No, I want That's to bring one of our home. problems is the people we don't listen. We no, always want... have something to say, even if we read two paragraphs on the damn subject. I, My thing on. is this. Wanna, Even no, if the now, let's to, go. Okay, I, need, I, need, I, I pass the mic. I, I pass the mic. Thank you. Because I want to bring in Mo. And I want to change the subject Mo. to something else. Bring him wanna, in. Yeah, I but my thing is, I don't want to keep talking about 
what a fucking white person said. Go I ahead, don't Mo. care. You need to know. I, 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 I because know. you need I to know. know your enemy. I do know. I these do know people that my are dangerous. You know who else and when is my we enemy? get these wait, idiots wait, wait, wait. Hold talking on, hold smack on. Hold on. and surrogates you know for that other is, crowd you know that lead us enemy? into a damn trap, we got to be careful you know about what's really the out there. Enemy? You know who else is the enemy? You, the illegal immigrants. Well, Fucking all of the above, God. but Where you got to no, deal no, with no. the one staring Hispanic, you in the face. They're Latinas, dangerous. Native, They're da no, I'm not talking, about, the I'm talking about them. I'm talking about the ones we know. The they're enemy. dangerous, and you need to understand what they are about. Oh, I think we are. We're clear that No, you don't, because we got a namby-pamby idea no, that the they're all off on that rainbow side, and everybody is so nice worrying about dressing sweet. But we're the problem. We're the problem. We got to toughen up. We know that others are evil. We know that. Well, we got to toughen up. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, let, me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me let Mo speak. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, Mo. Mo. Go ahead. Don't judge him, Joe Brown.